Hello everyone, this is Enea here, and in today's tutorial I'll teach you how to create this tricky track cross in Affinity Vector Studio, formerly known as Affinity Designer. This tricky track cross is a Celtic knot that is made of four interlaced tricky tracks and forms what looks like a cross. Alright, so to get started we go to File New and we create a new composition. We make sure that snapping, snap to guides, and snap to object bounding boxes is enabled. And then we go to view, guides, and we add horizontal and vertical center guides to the composition. And then we're going to start drawing the figure. So we take the ellipse tool, we set the field to none, we leave the stroke as black, and we set the stroke width to 20 points. And then while holding shift to keep the one to one proportions, we go ahead and we create a circle of about 70 by 70 millimeters in dimensions. And then we take the move tool, we center it along the vertical axis, and we have the bottom extremity of its stroke match the horizontal axis like this so it must not snap all right so now we have our first circle in position and we're going to use it to create our first round of four circles so we go here to shape tool settings and we check on enable transform origin and we set the rotation center in the middle of the composition we press on enter to bring out the move duplicate panel. We check on duplicate. We set the number of copies to three and the rotation angle to 90 degrees. And we we'll click on okay. So this gives us our first round of circles. And we are going to need a second one in order to create our figure. So first we select everything and we rotate the circles by 45 degrees to have them in this orientation. And then we're going to create our second round of circles. So we select one of the circles and we press on Ctrl J to duplicate it. We center it along the vertical axis And we position it in a way that the intersection of the three circles, here, here, and here, is about the same. And then we position its rotation center in the middle of the composition. We press on Enter to bring out the Move Duplicate panel. Here, we check on previous settings to apply the same duplication settings as for the first round of circles. And also we check on duplicate. And we click on OK. So this gives us our second round of circles that we need. So now we have all the circles that we need to create the figure. So now the next step is going to be to remove what we don't need with the Shape Builder tool. So first we select everything. And we go to Vector, Expand Stroke. So what this Converse Stroke operation does is that it converts the stroke object into fill objects. So as you can see, now the circles are fill only. We need to do this operation before we can do operations on them with the Shape Builder tool. And then we select everything and we take the Shape Builder tool we set the action to minus and the cleanup to none. And then we're going to remove the outer part in the second round of circles like this. And then we're going to remove the intersection here. So now we have removed everything that we need to remove and we are going to change the action to plus 
to connect the parts that we need connected together. So first we connect the three elements here. And then the four elements here. The four elements here. And finally, the three elements here. And then we take the move tool. And while holding shift, we are going to select the four objects that we just created with the shape builder tool. So this three catch right here, the one above. And we press on control G to group it together. And then here in the layers panel, while holding shift, we select all the other elements and we delete them. So now we have only this triquette right here remaining. We position the rotation center in the middle of the composition. We press on enter to bring out the move duplicate panel. We leave previous settings on and we check on duplicate. And now this gives us the remaining part of the figure. So this makes it easier than to connect everything with the shape builder tool. And lastly, we're going to create the gaps between the elements. So we select everything and we take the contour tool. Here we set it as round. And so we're going to decrease the radius. So I'll set it to minus 0 0.5. And as you can see, this creates the gaps between the elements. All right, so that was it for this tutorial. You learned how to create a tricky track cross in Affinity Vector Studio. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.